to say what you want to hear. I always bite my tongue till I disappear. Sanity has been lost in me, lost in me, lost in me.
All right, hello, welcome to the Marywood University Apex Tournament. Um, we will be starting shortly here. Um, my name is Hamrum. I will be your host for the night. Uh, uh, we're just about to get started here. Uh, first off, we have Warlord versus Microbee. Uh, the tournament is going to be a two or double elimination tournament. Uh, how this is going to work is that we are going to do duos or two people will load into a lobby and then we will um the winner will be decided on whoever uh gets the most kills or whoever um survives longest if both players get the most or the same amount of kills all right so both players are in the lobby uh we're probably going to get started here soon. I just need to check on a couple things. Um, waiting for some DMs from them to see what their legend picks are um, before we get loaded in. Um, yeah. Uh, Not much, man. How about you? I need to mute them. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, still waiting on the the uh, players to DM me their uh, legend picks, and then we can get started. I just don't want to pick any legends that the players are going to use. Again, the format for this tournament is going to be double elimination. Uh, each round is going to be played once. Um, and then whoever gets the most kills or survives the longest in case of a tie is going to win the round and move on. A um, little bit interesting uh, for today. Uh, there is a event going on right now um, called the Ring Fury Takeover. Uh, this event, um, normally how Apex works is there is a ring that is closing in and you have to move to the center of the ring. Otherwise, you start taking damage from outside of the ring. Uh, during this event, there are small rings that load out throughout the map, um, and you'll take damage inside of those smaller rings as well as the outside ring. Um, there is also a like a dome that you are loaded out with during this event that you can throw inside the ring that will protect you from the ring, but it only lasts for so long. If the players aren't gonna, I guess they all have their thing loaded up. Micro B just disconnected as well. We're gonna uh, maybe DM him, see if they are going to come back. I guess I'll invite him again. Okay, they're back. And then we'll be, uh, whenever you guys are ready, we can start, uh, preferably sooner than later. Alright, I got Bambi's. 
Legends. And I think Warlord's Legends is going to be Horizon, so uh, as soon as you guys are ready to start, uh, ready up, and then we can get into the game. connection issues or what's going on here so we're still <laughs> waiting on Bambi now uh, to get back in the lobby we can get going oh it's not Bambi oh micro B okay they are now offline. Oh, if they had to restart their game, okay, they're back in. Yeah, because they weren't readying up. So, ah, oh, I don't want him. Please leave. Uh, Twee was. I don't know. I'm gonna remake this party then. Just so we get the right people in here. It's Twee, Micro B, and then. Warlord? Okay. Well, micro B. Claw. It's gonna come in here. We can get started. Otherwise. Okay. Uh, if you guys want to ready up, we can get started here then. Alright, cool. And we'll see uh, kind of what strategies each player is going to go for here. Um, since they are competing against each other, uh, they can either choose to work together or they can just split off and completely play the game on their own. Um, Warlord's going with Horizon, uh, they have an ability called Gravity Lift that is, um, kind of raises them in the air for a little bit, um, you have to be standing in the Gravity Lift for that to happen, and their ultimate is called Black Hole, it kind of pulls people in, um, Bangalore, uh, has a smoke grenade that they throw out, um, which is pretty useful, uh, they also have a Bombardment, which is like an air, uh, airstrike, Kind of thing uh so like missiles will fall down from the sky from that um, also a very good legend right, i'm curious to see how this works out for each player uh i <laughs> i fucked up i fucked up <laughs> oh, shoot. um okay uh do we just want to remake this room because i kind of messed up <laughs> I can just do that. <laughs> I was jump master and I jumped off at the same time as everyone, so we're just gonna. I was gonna, you know, jump off the map, um, but uh, I was jump master. That's my bad. Um, we'll just jump into another lobby here. Just ready up, please, uh, and then we can get started again. That's my bad. I guess I can say that in chat here. Then. <laughs> okay. Again, that's my bad. Um, just for spectating purposes, I am jumping off the map at the beginning of the game here. Um, I did not realize I was jump master, so that was my mistake. Uh, each player uh, also can solo jump. Oh, they just have to hold control. Or uh, whatever it is on console, I'm sure they know. Um, but then they can jump separate if they wish to. Alright, I'll make sure I'm not jump master this time so that does not happen again. Yeah, 
Again, we got Warlord on Horizon and Micro B on Bangalore. Horizon's a really popular pick uh, recently. The character came out last season of Apex. Um, kind of has been popular ever since. So. Oh. Who made me jump master? <laughs> someone let go I'm sorry this is not going great right now um, and okay please just I guess both players are just gonna play the game then no more. I can but Someone else relinquished Jump Master to me, so I thought I thought I wasn't Jump Master, and then I was. So <laughs> that's just kind of what happened there. Um, so we got Twee. Uh, they have a looks like they have a Hemlock and then a Wingman um, for their loadout right now. Still looking for that armor so they can get a little bit more health. Um, see if they can find it here. Uh, let's go back to Warlord. Um, Warlord has a P2020, not the most optimal weapon to have right now. Um, probably one of the weakest weapons in the game, probably the second weakest. And they are in contact here. Um, the other person has blue armor, it's going to be hard for them to get this, but they are putting out a lot of damage, they get the knockdown. Um, and they are able to get the kill. Uh, let's see if they can pick up that armor from them, and that's great. Great start for Warlord here, um, got the one knockdown. Um, with the P2020, pretty impressive, and they come out with the Spitfire uh, for the weapon uh, from that. So um, they're looking off to a good start. Um, we got Micro B here, still looking for loot. Um, he's got the the G7 Scout, which is a little bit of a longer range weapon. Uh, yeah, does like a single fire shot, um, shoots pretty fast, does a decent amount of damage. Usually not something you see in late game, but it's a fine weapon to have early game. Um, both players are kind of staying together here, um, maybe looking to work as a team a little bit. Um, again, Warlord does have the kill, so they are leading right now. Um, I guess I can hide this. How do I hide this? Here, we're going to hide the banner. Alright, so... Yeah, um... Warlord was able to put out 275 damage during the engagement, which is really good. Um, not quite sure how they got that much damage. Uh, but they do have the one kill. Uh, Micro Beat, uh, able to find the purple armor. That's going to give them an extra 100 uh, health, uh, or an extra 25 health compared to Warlord's uh, blue armor. Uh, gives, Warlord's gives them an extra 75 health. Um, Both players still kind of looking for loot. Um, not really anyone near them uh, currently. Let's kind of look at the map here. Um, they're kind of looking to go towards the solar ray. Both of them are staying pretty close together for now. Um, uh, you should see more engagements happening as this circle comes in. We're still waiting on that right now. Uh, it's going to happen in 35 seconds here. Um, the ring will start moving in and pushing people towards them. All right, Micro B choosing to pick up the Mastiff. Uh, it's a shotgun, uh, very popular weapon, puts out a lot of damage really quickly um, and from a decent amount of range. Extended light mag here, level two. Warlord is pinging, <laughs> pinging that light mag for Micro B. I guess he's, both players are looking to want to play together a little bit here. Um, Kind of an interesting strategy. Um, I guess if both players are just going to be fighting for kills uh, when they take an engagement. All right, looks like uh, Micro B has now picked up an R301, probably one of the most popular weapons uh, in the current season. Uh, does quite a bit of damage, has an easy recoil, and 
uh, does damage. Uh, easy to shoot from a far range. Uh, you'll see this weapon a lot, as well as the flatline, which is the heavy uh, ammo version of the weapon. Uh, both players do have the purple armor now, so they both have 200 health. Um, they're going to be doing... They're off to... They have a good loadout um, so far for the game. Uh, I think both players are probably looking to engage here pretty soon. Um, if they can find someone to engage with. It looks like uh, Warlord's starting to hear some engagements uh, that are happening uh, to the northwest of him. Um, might be looking to move towards that and see if both players are going to do that. Kind of playing safe here. Uh, sounds like the firefight is happening quite a ways away. Um, typically in Apex you will see players kind of rush towards uh, any bullets that are being shot uh, just so they can get in the engagements. Um, the reason you want to do that is because that people are going to be weak after engagements, so uh, you kind of come in as the third party and finish up or clean up whatever is left over. Uh, typically you can kind of win a fight and knock out someone else if the fight lasted a long while. Um, on the contrary, if you are in an engagement, you kind of want to finish the engagement as soon as you can, um, and then be ready for those third parties to come in. And Um, oh, you see these blue things uh, here. These are called um, materials that you're collecting, and then you can use the replicator here. Um, it's not going to show us what's in it, but I am assuming they're going to be crafting a purple backpack, which is going to be giving them quite a bit more space to carry ammo, grenades, health, anything. Uh, going for the purple helmet. Um, the helmets are going to actually decrease headshot damage um, between that you receive. Uh, Micro B not having a helmet right now. Um, kind of late game is going to be a really kind of a hard thing to deal with because people are going to be starting to hit headshots. They're going to have the good weapons. Um, that's going to do a lot of damage to to the head. Uh, got Warlord flying in here. <laughs> um, ooh, almost fell off the map there, buddy. <laughs> All right. Uh, So right now, both players looking to move in here, uh, kind of by the bones or Bonsai Plaza. Uh, pretty popular spot to drop in. Uh, lots of good loot. Um, looks like it might not have been looted yet. Um, I see a couple supply bins that are still closed. Um, no open doors or anything. So player, uh, they might be able to find some decent loot here um, if they're looking for that. Um, still eight squads left. Um, the, we are in a three-player squads, um, so they are going to be fighting 2v3s, uh, assuming that all players are still alive on the opposite team. Warlord's uh, looking like he's ready for some action. Um, this map is very big, uh, so we're going to see... Um, Kind of things waiting for a while here before things start to happen. Uh, there's really only four big areas that are still, um, you know, happening, are still out inside of the ring. Um, this Hammond Labs area here, uh, you'll expect to see a lot of people in there. Um, they'll probably be rotating here fairly soon. We got our replicator dropping on over here, that blue light that you see. Uh, again, that replicator is something you can use to use your materials that you collect throughout the game uh, to craft supplies. You can uh, Right now on rotation, there is a purple backpack that you can get. All right, an engagement right here. Uh, Micro B looking to get the kill here. Uh, he really needs it. Um, both team... All right, Micro B able to get the knockdown. A Warlord's, uh, I believe Warlord got this knocked down as well. Uh, yeah, and that's the second kill for them. Micro B got one kill from this. Uh, there still might be another player around. Uh, so be careful here. Um, looks like they're near Micro B. Uh, Warlord's in the engagement right now. 
Uh, Warlord's going down. Um, actually, if, if Micro B can take this kill, they'll be tied up. Micro B. Careful here. He needs to be careful. He's low in health. He does need this kill uh, in order to take back or tie the lead right now. Uh, one thing to be concerned about is they can hear you healing, uh, so that's a little bit scary to be doing. Um, able to come out that without getting hit though, so that's pretty good. Right, uh, let's see if they can land shots here. They don't have armor, uh, so this this might be an easy kill for them. Nice! Uh, they come away with the kill. That's two kills for both players. Um, we'll see if they choose to revive or just win off time here. And looks like Micro B is going to come away with the win here. Uh, both players have two kills. Um, basically, he just needs to wait for him to die. <laughs> uh, so, congrats. Yep. Yep. Alright, so that's going to be the game. Uh, Looks like Micro B is going to come out on top. Uh, congratulations on that. We'll move forward in the bracket. Um, Warlord, your game isn't going to be done yet. You will still be in the loser's bracket and still have the chance to come back and win the, the, win the tournament. Um, and then Micro B, if you want to just kind of... <laughs> if you're in chat, if you just want to like jump off the map, you already won the game, uh, so there's no need to keep playing here. Uh, I need to find a spot. I can leave this lobby too if we wanna get the next match. I don't know if we have another match ready for now. Okay. Okay. Oh. Tweet, tweet. No, you're not. <laughs> yes. Um, so, Microbead, uh, if you're still in the game, uh, Gonna want you to be uh, <laughs> finding a way to uh, end the game uh, as soon as you can. You are gonna be on st stream again coming up here. Um, we also have Bambi that is gonna be joining us as the second player. Uh, Warlord, if you want to leave the lobby, that would be useful. Otherwise, I can make a new one. I might just make a new one and make things easier. I got an Apex pack from that. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to invite Bambi and Micro B. As soon as they're in here, we can get ready to go. Uh, I'm going to look to see what legends uh, Bambi's going to be using. Okay. Mira, okay. Pretty sure no one's going to be using Crypto, so I'll keep using this character. If someone does, that'd be cool, but probably not going to happen. Uh, if you guys want to ready up, uh, Micro B and Bambi, we're ready to go as soon as you guys are ready. Uh, okay. Looks like Bambi disconnected. I'm going to resend that invite. All right. Again, uh, if we're going back to the uh, crafting that I was talking about with the replicators, uh, these are the current items in the crafting. Uh, you see the purple light mag, that's the best light mag other than the golden light mag. Both the golden and the purple have the same amount of ammo. Uh, the golden just reloads automatically. You also have this uh, purple backpack and the purple helmet, and then the purple scope. So, see if players choose to get those items i think the backpack might be backpack and the helmet are probably the most useful ones uh, obviously the purple light make is also very good uh, those are requiring a lot of crafting materials so i don't know if you can get all of those together um, players might opt for the purple helmet and the light mag just because of the nature of the tournament but we will see All right, Bambe going with Mirage. Um, this legend, uh, he has like uh, clones that he's going to be putting out. Um, ooh, where is his? 
Um, so he, uh, he sends out um, clones, uh, as well as his ultimate sends out a bunch of clones, or they're called decoys. Um, so the decoys, when you shoot at them, it doesn't really do anything. It's just like a... Um, the game calls it a bamboozle. Um, so it bamboozles your opponents into thinking that that was who they were shooting at, but in reality it was the the uh, clone. Alright, I'm going to make sure that I am not Jump Master for this one, and I'm going to just jump off the map alone. Please do not give me Jump Master. You can relinquish control by yourself. Alright, so I should be good here. Won't be making that mistake again. Apologize for that. Uh, worked out well for both players, uh, though. Both players will go do the well last game. Alright. It looks like Microbe is wanting to stick together with Bambi a little bit here. Um, Bambi is sort of taking the high ground uh, look around here. Uh, making sure to drop really far so I can get the good loot. Uh, I think that's what's going on here. Um, probably checking to make sure there's no one around him as well. Um, Microbe already on the ground, fighting a P2020 with the blue light mag. Um, again, not a great weapon to have, but it's early game, and having that blue light mag is going to be useful for them. Um, see what else loot they have here. Uh, they did find the white armor, which is useful. Uh, start of the game. Um, two light mag weapons right away. Uh, the RE45, a much better weapon than the... Are or the P twenty twenty? It's a fully fully auto um, pistol, uh, so you'll see it puts out a lot more damage than the P twenty twenty typically. Um, there is an attachment to the P twenty twenty that allows you to uh, do more damage to non shielded enemies, which is really strong. But typically, that is a hard attachment to find. Um, and then Micro V picking up the R99, uh, probably the most popular weapon in the game. Uh, does a lot of damage really fast, um, so that is definitely going to be a great thing for them to have going into this. Um, we got Bambi here. Uh, found the white armor. Um, not really sure what weapons they have yet. Um, we will see that shortly. I think. Am I able to? I'm not able to. Very. This is like a slot machine character. Uh, <laughs> it just puts out some loot uh, when you check it. Uh, not sure what Bambi's doing here, just kind of chilling. <laughs> uh, found the energy mag here. Uh, curious what energy weapon they have. If they have a Volt, uh, that is a very good weapon to have. All right, picking up the R99. Uh, it's gonna be a very good weapon again. All right, I'm gonna go back to Microbe here. Um, they did find a uh, the new weapon. The oh, what is it even called? <laughs> the new weapon is similar to the G7 Scout, except it's the heavy we heavy weapon variant of it. Um, it has a little bit of a charge uh, that goes into the shot. It can do more damage the longer you're aiming down the sight. Um, not a very popular weapon though. Uh, probably going to be wanting to look to grab something else. Not sure if Bambi's game is lagging here, but they're not. Okay, they're moving here now. Both players have not found an engagement yet. Uh, kind of dropped, um, kind of wide. I'd expect Microbe to find engagement first because they're in the center of the map right now. Um, Bambi choosing to drop far, uh, probably. Prior decision, uh, maybe trying to get get it so Micro B gets knocked before them, then they don't have to worry about. They can just win by time here. Um, if Micro B is able to get knocked down, then that won't be a case, but we'll see. Right, Micro B is in a very hot contested area here. Um, I'd expect to see an engagement happening here soon. Um, go back to then. Bambi was able to find that purple armor. Uh, looks like they're going to craft either a purple light mag 
helmet or backpack. Um, they got the la the magazine, and then they're going with the scope. Interesting. Um, Micro be able to pick up the golden armor. Uh, this armor uh, has four hundred hundred damage, um, and the basic healing items uh, will do double the healing. So the syringes and the shield cells are going to do double the healing. Um, so I'll take two shield cells and two sh uh, uh, syringes to fully heal. All right, Microbee is hearing some footsteps outside here. Looks like he might be in an engagement soon. Um, see if he tries chooses to take this or if he's just going to try to survive just a little bit longer. Bambi's got the high ground here. Um, it's got the triple take. It's a sniper rifle. Uh, triple take shoots out three shots uh, instead of one, uh, but the shots are spread out. Uh, the longer you hold down the scope, uh, the closer the shot spread is going to be. Um, fairly popular weapon. It works well in close range, um, so that will be something interesting to see. Uh, see if you can maybe get a few knockdowns with that um, from a distance in a safe spot. Maybe what he's going strategy they are going for. Micro be still still in the same spot, um, kind of sitting by turbine. Um, it looks like people have been in turbine now. Um, still no engagements happening though. Uh, some bullets are being shot near Micro B. Um, See if they choose to go for this engagement or not. Uh, it is, they're probably going to be a little bit late if they do decide to go for the third party. Uh, both players kind of playing it safe right now. Uh, just looking to stay alive and maybe get a pick uh, when the opportunity presents itself. Micro be in a little bit more of a dangerous spot uh, right now than Bambi is. Bambi kind of out in the open right now. Um, could potentially get... Uh, picked off pretty easily by anyone that is watching the area. Um, looking to kind of sneak around here, uh, play a little bit safe. My, uh, Bambi kind of hugging the outside of the ring here. Um, he knows no one has been in the areas behind him, so he is safe here. Um, Micro B, again, in kind of a Highly contested area, but there isn't anyone here yet. Uh, I'd expect to see an engagement eventually. Um, tunnel under here may be a little bit of a safer spot. I don't think people tend to go down here unless they're engaging with someone. I don't, at least. Very exciting gameplay from both teammates, or both players here. Bambly looking looking to find someone that they can snipe out here. Uh, not finding anyone in their sight yet. Uh, there's a care package that is dropped near near Bambi. Let's see if they choose to go get that or not. Micro B uh, getting scanned by the Bloodhound. Uh, that scan is going to let the Bloodhound know where Micro B is and as well as their teammates. Um, so Microbe is probably going to be seeing an engagement here soon. Um, choosing to hide in here, uh, maybe not quite the safest choice. Microbe choosing to kind of escape here. Both looks like both players are just trying to play by time here for now. Um, not seeing any engagements from either of them. Um, if anything, they're just trying to run away. Uh, so we're gonna see quite a long game here, probably. Um, both teammate or both players are going to be staying alive for a while, most likely. Uh, and then we'll kind of see a little bit more action in a little bit. Um, again, uh, there's a event going on right now. Uh, if I open the map here and you see these red circles within the circle, those are mini mini circles that are happening right now. Um, so if you're inside those, you will receive damage. Um, you see more of them pop up on the map here. Um, and then those will expand and also be dangerous spots to be. Um, 
the idea of the event is to push people around a little bit um, and make you know f make the flow of the game a little bit different. It's kind of interesting. Um, see if it comes into play at all. Typically, it comes into play late game more than early game. You're not really going to see much action happening from those. Uh, <laughs> Bambi is still still hanging out in the open over here. Uh, not a soul in sight. Uh, sending out that bamboozle decoy. See if he can get anything to shoot at it. Probably not. Alright, Micro being the energy depot now. Uh, some shots are close by to them. Uh, see if they choose to go towards them or not. Both players haven't really, haven't been deciding to go towards any engagements yet. Um, we will, s s they're going to be forced to do that eventually here. Um, Micro B may be having the advantage right now just because of the gold armor that they have. Um, purple armor can be upgraded to a red armor, which has 25 more health. Um, but you need to do 750 damage in order to evolve the armor to that. Um, so it's going to be very hard, especially with only five squads left, um, which means and 13 players in play right now. Looks like Bambi Bambi got hurt a little bit from the the ring the ring flares that I was talking about. Uh, easy, easy to heal up from that though. It's not really a big, big deal. Micro B just looking to hold down this position. Um, they did hear some shots from the northeast, uh, so I'd expect to see maybe some people coming from there. I'd be worried about. Uh, both it, both players are now kind of looking at the same spot, uh, maybe looking, maybe looking to get back together. Uh, Bambi is playing a really safe game here. They're kind of close to the edge of the ring, um, just making sure they stay alive. Uh, we, there are only four squads left, so um, and eleven players. Uh, so this is going to be interesting. Might see some action soon. Um, as the ring closes on them. Uh, still a minute 42 left until the ring closes and forces people into this area of the map. Uh, the white circle that you see there. Um. All right. Both players are now uh, kind of paired up here. Uh, neither have had any engagements, so uh, it might just come down to who can finish off uh, the enemy here. Um, so both players are kind of kind of be together uh, and it just de depends on who lands the last shot or who doesn't get knocked. Um. We'll see how how they choose to play this out. You'd expect to see an engagement happening soon here. There is a care package that was there. It has been open. Uh, a few death boxes here and there. Uh, maybe able to get some nice loot from these death boxes. Uh, fortunately, I will not be able to see what they're getting. Both players have blue helmets right now, so it might be useful uh, for them. Micro Beast uh, found the Lobo uh, ultimate there. Uh, it's called the Black Market. It will allow you to take two items from it um, within a certain radius of the black market. Um, very useful ultimate. Um, nice to stumble upon. Uh, it might mean that someone is close, so should be careful here. Bambi just looking to find some loot from these death boxes that are scattered about um, from the last engagement that was happening over here. 
Yeah, it sounds like there is an engagement happening uh, to the north, northeast right now. Uh, if my ears are hearing correctly. Uh, that, and that would be the last two teams right now. If that was uh, engagement happening in the northeast, uh, expect the teams to be pushed in here. Um, I might have been hearing wrong. Yeah, there's a maximum of six players in this lobby right now. Uh, so they're going to have to be looking for kills here uh, soon. Might want to try to third party here, uh, see if they can come away with a win. Uh, you hear the engagement happening over there right now. Uh, both players are going to be pushing it. Micro B in front. Uh, Micro B about to engage here. Uh, got the caustic. They are weak. Looks like they might be able to get the knock here. Uh, not really sure which player came out with that. Uh, it looks like Bambi. Act oh, no, Micro B came out with that kill. Uh, so Micro B in the front right now. Uh, in front of Bambi. Got the lead. Um, Micro B throwing out that ultimate, try to get some damage. Bambi is swapping out his armor here to get a little bit more health. Bambi's getting pushed pretty hard here, gets knocked. That looks like it's gonna be the game. Micro B is gonna win here off kills. Um, unless they have a gold shield that can't revive. Micro B coming in, in with the win again. They're gonna move on. Uh, Bambi uh, going to be going to lose his bracket. Still has a chance to come out and win this tournament. Uh, Micro B coming away with a second win, though. Very good play from both players. <laughs> Very long game. Uh, interesting strategies. Both kind of waited till the end to take their engagements. Um, but Micro B was able to capitalize on that and get the first pick, get that kill, and come away with the win. Yeah. Yep. All right, uh, he'd, uh... All right, and looking to see who we have next here. Uh... Okay, so right now we have, um, we're waiting on one game to finish here, and the winner of that game will be facing Micro B for winner's final, or semis? Winners, winners, semis. Um, so we're just waiting on that game to finish, uh, and then we will be heading into that. Okay. I don't have my desktop available. I can. Okay. Um. So it looks like the bracket right now. Um. We just saw the Bambi versus Micro B game. Uh, Bam Micro B coming out on top of that. Um. Right now we're waiting on Mojo Rise and Stoi to finish their match. Uh. Curious to see who wins that. Um. Both players. Um. Have not won a game yet. Um. And then. Uh. In the third spot, we had Tombs versus Hida. Hida coming out on top for that game, uh, moving on to semis. And then... I don't know how to pronounce his name. Escle Esclepius versus Henry. Um, Esclepius came out on top for that game. Uh, so they're going to be facing Hida and Esclepius. Hida and Esclepius are going to be facing each other. And then we're just waiting on the winner from Mojo Rise and Stoi. Um, they're going to be whoever wins that game is going to be facing Micro B. Um, in losers bracket, okay, okay, okay. Uh, and then Hedda and Asclepius looks like they played their game. Um, right now, Hedda came out on top of that game. Um, so whoever wins the Micro B. 
uh, and then the Rise versus Stoey, whoever takes that. Um, whoever can win that game is going to be facing Hida in the winner's finals. Uh, right now in loser's bracket, we have Warlord uh, came out on top of Tombs. Um, so Warlord is going to move on here. Um, and then we're still waiting for the loser from game two here from Moji, Mojo Rise and Stoey. Um, they're going to be facing uh, Bambi, whoever loses that game. Uh, Micro B1, yeah. I'm talking about loser records. <laughs> yeah. Uh, see how soon this game can happen. Um, all right, checking in the chat here. Okay. All right. Uh, looks like we're going to be taking a quick break here. Um, waiting on the Mojo Rise and Story game. Uh, we'll be back whenever that game is done, uh, and we'll get into our next game. Uh, all right. So for now, we're going to be off. Uh, we will be starting back up soon. Uh, stay around, and we'll see more action coming up soon.
All right, welcome back. Uh, the last uh, match that was happening, players had to drop out. Um, so we are going to be moving on to winners finals here. Uh, it's going to be Micro B versus Hedda. Uh, if they can both get in here, I believe I have both of them added. Um, so as soon as you guys are in here, we can get started. Um, and then for everyone in losers bracket, uh, go look at the uh, bracket and find out what your games are uh, as soon as you get done with those just keep moving on um, and we'll see whoever wins and losers possibly on stream or uh, we will be seeing them on a stream maybe all right, uh, all right I think should be fine with this Uh, Hedo, if you want to DM me your legend picks, uh, I assume you're going to be playing Octane here, but if you are concerned that I'm playing Crypto, please let me know uh, in my DM. You can DM me through Discord. Yeah. I don't think anyone wants to be playing Crypto, so I would not worry about it. <laughs> But, again, tell me if, if it's going to be an issue. Yeah. Uh, looks like we're going to be playing on King's Canyon now. The map kind of changed here. Uh, looks like Hedda is going to be playing Revenant, possibly. Uh, Revenant... Uh, Caustic maybe? Let's see what they go with. Still going with Octane. Okay, Octane. Uh, we haven't seen this Legends yet on stream. Uh, they are basically a speed speed demon. <laughs> um, they uh, have a stim that they use uh, and it damages them a little bit, um, but it makes them go faster. And then they have a passive ability, which does allow them to heal over time. Uh, it's very useful. Um, so you just basically move fast. Uh, the ultimate is a jump pad that you throw on the ground, uh, and then you're able to jump off the jump pad and fly through the air. So, uh, I might be solo dropping here. I forgot. You gotta... All right, King's Canyon, a new map again. Uh, we'll kind of see if around the map here uh, as the players are choosing to go through it. Um, again, both players choosing to drop uh, together. Uh, both going to the same area. Looks like they're both dropping in runoff. Um, can't quite see if there's anyone dropping with them right now, um, but we'll find out soon. Uh, Hedda is able to find the purple armor right away, which is a very, very good thing to find early game. Um, also coming out with the Volt SMG and then the R301. They are taking engagement already. Uh, we're able to break the armor there. Uh, we'll see if they push this or not. Um, kind of waiting on Micro B to come around to help them out, possibly healing up. Um, maybe he missed an opportunity to push there. Uh, they did break the armor and still had quite a bit of health. That would have been a free kill for them, I believe. Um, choosing not to take that, playing a little bit safe. If they would have got knocked down there, that would have been the game. So, maybe a smart play for them. Uh, Micro B here, kind of just following Hedda. 
Uh, they do have blue armor, and they are loaded out with the alternator. Quite an easy weapon to use, doesn't do much damage though. Um, Mark will be looking kind of weak here. Uh, Peta, see who gets the kill. Looks like Mark will be got that kill. Uh, doing the finisher, just a little bit of show off here. Uh, ooh, that's not good. They got shot from the window. Um, and looks like if Hedda can get this kill, they're gonna come out on top. Um, I believe, uh, unless something changes here, uh, Hedda is going to be the winner here. Basically, all Hedda has to do is stay alive long enough. I mean, Microbee's gonna. I'm fairly confident in saying that Hedda is win this round. Um, able to get one kill, um, and then. Uh, Micro B, I believe, did not come out with a kill there because they did not finish off the person that they knocked down. Um, so, Hada, because uh, if you can hear me, uh, if you just want to like end the game here, you have won uh, winner's final. Um, so, Hada's going to be waiting for loser's bracket to um, finish off here. Um, and then, uh, so we'll see who we can go spectate on loser's bracket, but. Uh, again, congratulations, Hedda. You're going to be moving on to uh, finals. Uh, uh, it's 1 0. Uh, 2 0, actually. Kind of. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm just going to leave this game. There you Alright, gonna take a look at the bracket here. Uh, I assume games are in process right now, so we might have a little bit of a delay here. Alright, right now in Losers, uh, we have Stoey versus Warlord. Uh, Warlord did win that round. It looks like Stoey might have dropped out of the tournament. Um, so Warlord just kind of moved on. Or, yeah, Stoey dropped out. Um, so Warlord moves on to Losers Semis, and then, or Losers Finals. Um, Asclepius and Bambi are currently in a match. Uh, whoever wins that is going to go against Warlord. Uh, we will be spectating that match. Um, and then whoever wins the Warlord versus that player's match uh, will be going um, against Hedda in Finals. All right, again, uh, as I was explaining before, uh, with the crafting system, you'll see these blue uh, little cylinder things throughout the map. Um, and when we are dropping in, you'll see kind of blue lights uh, around the map. Um, the blue cylinders, you can collect materials uh, from them. There are also materials that you get for opening supply bins throughout the map. Um, and these materials can be used in the replicators to create loot. Um, so uh, currently we have this as the loot rotation, uh, the purple backpack, purple helmet, purple light mag, and then the scope. Um, so um, the replicator is definitely a very useful thing to be using. Um, personally, I would be going for the light mag and back. Pack. Uh, I'm fine with a blue helmet, but the purple helmet is definitely a very good pick. It decreases headshot damage um, that you receive. Very useful item. Um, uh, I prefer the purple backpack because it allows me to carry more items. Um, and uh, definitely like carrying more grenades can win you some fights. Uh, so that's why I go with that. Yeah, okay. All right, um, so we're gonna be waiting on the, uh, the Asclepius versus Bambi round. Um, so we're just gonna be going, uh, for a short break here. Um, we'll be back after that game is over, uh, for the Warlord versus whoever wins that game. Uh, so we will see you soon.
All right, we are back. Uh, Asclepius was able to come out top on that last game. Uh, so it's going to be Warlord versus Asclepius here. Uh, we're going to get right into things as soon as each player is ready. Uh, see if Warlord's around. Maybe he's grabbing a little drink of water or something. If not, they can ready up whenever. Cool, they're here. Looks like uh, Asclepius is going to be using Pathfinder here uh, as their character. Pathfinder is a very interesting character. High mobility. Um, their abilities, uh, uh, their Q uh, is a grapple. Uh, they can kind of fling themselves around the map with the, the grapple. And then their ultimate is a zip line that they deploy. Uh, you can, you know, zip line up to high ground, uh, get around the map fast using that with your team. Uh, I need to mute. There again. Uh, Warlord loading out with Horizon, and then we have Asclepius on Pathfinder. Maybe we'll we'll get to see a little bit more of uh, the map here, uh, King's Canyon. Uh, see if they decide to drop in a different location. Alright, both players uh, looking to go out to the map room. Um, this was a town takeover event, uh, the edit into the map. Uh, there is a map in the room that allows you to see everyone on the map. You have to be in the room to see it though. Uh, kinda not useful in my opinion, but it does get you some information. Um, looks like Pathfinder uh, Asclepius is actually deciding to go over towards uh, the new area on the map, um, it's uh, caustic treatment is what they call it now. It used to be water treatment. Uh, so this town takeover event uh, is themed for caustic, the character. Uh, so this area of the map is pretty new. Uh, they just set it in. Sleepy is here looking for some loot. Uh, able to find a helmet and a G7 scout. Uh, looking for that armor first. Uh, it's going to be very important that they find armor. Um, Found an alternator, cruising not to pick it up. Curious what else they had. Uh, I'm gonna go over our Warlord over here. Uh, Warlord looking to pair up with uh, Asclepius, maybe. Uh, picking up some loot. Uh, found the R99. Uh, choosing to go with the um, the Volt over that. Uh, gonna be looking for uh, energy ammo. A little bit harder to find the light ammo. Um, Volt is a little bit better at long range than the R99, though. Asclepius, uh, got the R301. Um, very good weapon again. Very strong. Uh, picking up the EVA-8. Uh, it's a shotgun, uh, semi-auto shotgun. Or fully auto. Uh, just kind of shoots fast, does a decent amount of damage. Kind of more popular, the, uh, the new kind of a new meta weapon i believe uh, a lot of players are picking up because the uh, other shotgun got nerfed recently on the new update um, the mastiff here uh, is the shotgun that got nerfed uh, so a lot of people are picking the eva 8 over that now because uh, the damage output on the mastiff got downed a little bit uh both players uh have only white armor right now. Um, they chose not to go inside uh, the caustic treatment uh, where a lot of the good loot might have been. Um, so both players are going to be struggling with loot here. Uh, Asclepius with the R301, a uh, decent weapon at least. Uh, both players have kind of low health for the part of the game they're in right now. Uh, so they might be kind of easy pickings. Uh, Hopefully they can come out with a, a win in these fights though, if they find anything. Um, maybe they'll find some good loot here. Uh, see if it's looted already. Looks like they have this place for themselves. Uh, I'm gonna be able to find some loot. 
Um, see if either player is going to be able to find a, like a blue armor or a purple armor. Get a little bit more health. Uh, definitely something you want to have at this stage of the game. Five squads are already down, uh, so a lot of people are going to be having blue armor or purple armor at this stage of the game. Uh, it's definitely something you want to get as soon as possible. Um, Asclepius deciding to go with the triple take, I believe that was. Uh, sniper rifle we talked about earlier. Uh, kind of has a spread shot compared to other sniper rifles. Uh, still very strong, good at close range. Uh, It's interesting to see that Asclepius and Warlord are just choosing to stay in the same location here. Um, you see this uh, thing in front of Warlord there, uh, that's something that Asclepius can use. Um, if they choose to use it, they will be able to see a green ring within the white ring, um, which will be where the next ring after this ring ends. Let's see if Warlord is... Asclepius looking to get the high ground, use this ultimate, uh, that zip line. Very good for getting high ground. Get a little bit of an overhead view here. Uh, see if you can see anything. Doesn't look like anything is here currently, but it has been looted, so there could be someone lurking around. Uh, I did see someone on my screen there on the right, it looked like. Yeah, there's definitely people here. Uh, see if they see that or not. See if he takes the shot here, maybe trying to stay a little bit safe. And then Warlord's got the Spitfire here. Uh, it's a spray weapon, uh, light machine gun. Does a decent amount of damage, kind of shoots a little bit slow, but the recoil is fairly easy to control on it. Uh, it's a decent weapon pick. Very popular if you're not, like, the best at aiming. Um, both players looking to push this, uh, see if they're going to take an engagement here or they're going to play safe and just wait. Uh, we saw in the last uh, two games ago where both players just kind of waited for the end game and then the game was decided in the last few seconds. Asclepius not quite spotting them. I don't know if they're not aware of where they were, but they they were kind of in range there, choosing not to take the shots. Both players are kind of just playing safe there. There is one on the building on the top left, um, inside there, uh, right here. Uh, be careful with that. Seize him now, uh, see if he chooses to take the shot here. He does miss with the shot though, unfortunate. Um, see if you can hit him. Uh, it's a Bangalore, chose to throw smokes out at him. Just a shot there, uh, does 37 damage, not quite enough, but at least does a little bit of damage uh, to the armor. Maybe make them use some healing supplies. Uh, if you can make the enemy run out of that, you're able to get a kill fairly easily. Bangalore are dropping the ultimate on them, they're going to see a lot. Uh, see that airstrike coming in. They're going to need to move, otherwise they're going to get hurt from this. Um, is able to move out of that with his grapple. Uh, Warlord looking to push this from the other side. Um, I believe... It Asclepius was able to get a armor broke on one of them. They're probably healing up now, um, so both teams are probably even right now. Um, Asclepius still on the high ground here, uh, looking to see what they can find, uh, if they can find any shots on anyone. Uh, don't know if they saw someone run away here, I don't know what they're quite looking at. Uh, they're inside this building here, Warlord is on top of them right now. Uh, see if they choose to go and take this engagement, it's kind of risky. Because uh, both players do have zero kills right now, so whoever dies, if if someone dies first here, uh, could potentially end the game uh, for whoever loses, or could potentially decide who loses this game. Alright, Micro B, thank you. Thank you for redeeming literally nothing. Uh, we give nothing in return, so thank you for that. Uh, Spoon Baby as well, thank you for uh, redeeming literally nothing. You also will receive literally nothing in return. <laughs> right, both players on the high ground here, again. Uh, the ring is going to push them down here. Oh, they will have to move eventually. The ring isn't going to do too much damage to them early on. Uh, this is an early ring. 
Uh, the ring uh, does more damage throughout the game. Um, so each stage, uh, this is the round one ring, it doesn't do much damage. As soon as round two hits, the ring will do more damage. Um, and as the game progresses, each round the ring will do more damage. At the end game, the ring does a lot of damage, and if you're in the ring, you're going to die fairly quickly. Looks like Asclepius still seeing a target over there. Um, not sure how many people are in that other team. Uh, they might be looking to take this engagement here. There is someone on the right there. Asclepius looking, looking to take this engagement. Ooh, hit 93. Broke the armor of 31. Uh, they are going to be weak. Uh, it's possible that they could push them here. Asclepius choosing to heal up here. Uh, definitely want to play safe here. Doesn't want to die early on and give Warlord that free win. Both players still playing safe. Uh, just kind of poking at the enemy team, trying to see if they can find an opening. Uh, maybe get a free pick uh, or a free knockdown if someone peeks. Uh, Sclepius definitely taking these sniper shots. Uh, see someone moving on the right. Uh, misses a few shots. Um, not sure how many healing supplies they have right now, but uh, definitely wanting to make sure that they have enough shield cells or shield batteries to stay healed up. Um, and it looks like Asclepius might be low on those if he's not healing here, uh, which could be, could be pretty bad. Able to find a shield cell at least, uh, and choosing to pick up that uh, the other scope for his chart or sniper. Warlord still just keeping eyes on them. Uh, the other player really wanting to make an engagement here. Uh, they are both aware of where the enemy is. No one wanting to make the push though. Though, uh, Sclepius, uh, not sure if they're aware or not. They are low on health. Uh, they might want to heal up uh, just in case. Uh, it's, would hate to see them get knocked because they aren't healed. Uh, Warlord, again, just kind of watching. It looks like the enemy already moved past here, but they're trying to play it safe just to make sure. In terms of uh, loadout right now, I think Asclepius does have the advantage. Uh, the triple take, I believe, might come in handy for this uh, format that we have going. Because uh, they do just need to get a pick. Um, and then they could potentially win the game just off of that one pick. Uh, Warlord also having the white armor uh, in the light stage of this game is going to be very, very hard for them. If they can find a blue armor or get that 150 damage in order to level up to a blue armor, that would be ideal for them gonna have to be careful here we're coming into the laps uh another hot spot on the map uh people might have been moved on past this area of the map so far uh there is someone right there uh warlord shooting at them not hitting any shots though but they are going to be aware that they are there now uh escapius kind of not choosing to go for this kill here uh looked like there's only one of them this might be a free kill uh, choosing not to go in the ring though. Uh, Warlord in the engagement right now. Gets the knock. That's gonna be one kill for the Warlord if they can get, knock, uh, finish this kill off. Um, both players are kind of losing health in the ring and the caustic gas. Um, Warlord just needs to finish off that caustic and they can take lead here. Potentially win the game. Uh, yeah, and it looks like the caustic DC'd, uh, so they are able to get that kill. Um, and they got the blue armor from it as well. Um, gonna have to be careful here, you don't want to die in the ring. Uh, health going down there. Um, the ultimate, uh, Sleepy is significant, gets the knockdown, uh, very important. They are inside of a ultimate though, so they're gonna be taking a lot of damage from that. Gets the kill on Octane, uh, so each player is tied up here, uh, both with one kill. Um, Sleepy is looking to take another engagement possibly here, maybe wants to get healed up. Um, kind of thirsting for this kill a little bit. <laughs> Kicks the door. Uh, getting grenades thrown at him. I don't know if he doesn't have healing supplies, but this could be it for him. Getting pushed by the Bangalore if he gets knocked here. This could be game. It looks like this is going to be game for him. Uh, so Warlord is going to be moving on 
Moving on to finals now. Uh, gonna be taking out Hida. Um, congratulations to the Warlord on that game. Um, and then good games from Asclepius. That was a good show from you. Able to get that one kill. Um, so we are gonna be moving on. Uh, oh, uh, my bad. I made a mistake on the bracket. We do have uh, another game before finals. Alright, so the next game is going to be Warlord versus Twee Microbi. Uh, it's going to be Losers Finals. Uh, whoever wins this game is going to be going up against Hida for Finals. Grand Finals. Um, Warlord, if you can finish this game as soon as possible, that would be useful for us. We can continue on with the tournament. If you are listening. I'll kind of just keep watching this for now for entertainment. <laughs> Warlord, if you want to uh, off yourself real quick, uh, just so we can get on with the tournament, you did win the round, so. I hope they have me muted in game. <laughs> Warlord. Warlord has the better gaming chair, able to come out with the win because of that. Um, maybe has a little bit better back support, um, maybe, maybe a little bit better uh, air. Uh, Cooling in it, you know, doesn't get quite as sweaty in it. Head <laughs> Again, Warlord, if you are there, uh, if you want to just go outside the ring and end the game, uh, then we can move on to Losers Finals. Warlord looking to assert dominance here, trying to get the W and as a loan. Um, might as well watch this game while we're here because they are the next match that is going to happen. So There are only two teams left. Uh, let's see if he can find anyone to engage with. Uh, we do hear shots coming uh, from the west side. Uh, just kind of chilling out here. See if he can. Uh, I mean, I can type it in game. <laughs> See if they receive my message. Uh, it would be nice if they finished the game so we can move on with the tournament. Uh, Hedda is probably. Probably wanting to play here soon, so if we can move on, that would be great. There, all right, we're about to see engagement here. Uh, they are getting dropped on. Uh, it will break the lifeline's armor. Not quite able to land their shots here. Uh, I believe the lifeline was close. Looks like they're probably gonna get knocked here. Maybe able to come out with a pick here, but no. Alright, uh... Well, that was useful. I'm glad we were there for that. <laughs> they did die uh, after a little bit. Um... Alright, micro B. I guess we'll join your party. Uh, and Warlord, if you want to come in. Um, if you are in the stream, uh, if you are the winner of the match, please do um, find a way to die in-game so we can move on to the next match and finish the tournament. Uh, once both players are ready, uh, we can begin the match. 
We have Micro B versus Warlord here. Uh, Micro B has been playing Bangalore uh, fairly well, and Warlord is on Horizon. Um, both of them coming in uh, through loser's bracket, definitely showing a strong presence, uh, both looking to get into the grand finals. See if we got any changes here uh, in Legends. I assume both players are going to be picking their, their go-to Legend here. Uh, and they do. Both fairly aggressive character or er, Legends in this game. Uh, Bangalore having the smoke opposed to the, the lift, uh, gravity lift that Horizon has. Um, Bangalore's ultimate may be a little bit more aggressive, does a little bit, does some damage, uh, whereas Horizons just kind of pulls people in. Um, relinquish. Alright. Looks like they're going to be going maybe to the end of the map, maybe jumping out the middle. Both players looking to drop in the same area again. Uh, looks like it's pretty common in this tournament. Uh, players have been dropping together. Um, kind of working together as much as they can to try to help each other out and get possible kills and advantages. Oh, right away, you might go. Oh, no. Micro V going down early. Uh, that is going to actually be game. That is so quick and unfortunate. Uh, Warlord is going to be moving on then. Uh, uh. That is so unfortunate. Uh, so Warlord, uh, both players not getting a kill here. Kind of an unfortunate drop, but Warlord was able to survive longer. Um, so they will be moving on to Grand Finals to face off against Teta, who has the winner of the Winner's Finals. Again, you hate to see it, but that that kind of happens in Apex sometimes, where you just drop down uh, and get <laughs> killed right away. Um, a way to prevent that is to kind of watch where other players are landing. You want to try to make sure that you're not landing in the same spot as someone else. Um, that way you can get loot, uh, continue, before you have to engage someone like that. All right. Right, I'm going to send invites to Hedda, and then, uh, who did I say one night? <laughs> that was so fast. Warlord, right? Just double checking. I'm right on Warlord won that game, correct? Okay, yeah, looks like it. <laughs> Unfortunate way to end for uh, Micro B, um, but that is the nature of Apex. Uh, you can die early game like that. Uh, so we have Grand Finals here. Uh, it's going to be Hedda versus Warlord. Uh, again, Hedda was the winner of Winner's Finals, uh, so they have not been defeated yet. So if Warlord loses this game, Hedda is going to win. If Warlord wins this game, there will be another round played uh, between both of them, and whoever wins that round will win the tournament. I am more prepared than you know. <laughs> See if this game lasts a little bit longer. Um, maybe after that drop, uh, Warlord is looking not to uh, get picked up early, because that was scary for both of them. Shoot your way out of this one, eh? 
Got your champion here. The one to look out for. All right, we're gonna be getting into this game. Uh, still curious to see uh, what strategies each player is going to use. All right, I'm dropping soul here. Warlord's looking to drop into caustic treatment uh, quite a bit farther from the dropship. Uh, definitely looking to get away from that middle. Uh, try to get a safer drop. Caustic Treatment is a new part of the map, so there might be a couple teams that are also looking to drop there, but we will see here soon. Oops. Looks like they weren't quite able to get the distance on the jump that they wanted. Uh, gonna be dropping not quite in Caustic Treatment. Uh, they do sound like they're seeing an enemy here, uh, so we might, might be seeing another quick engagement. Uh, both players landing in the same spot. Probably a smart decision. They can help each other out here in case there's an early engagement here. Um, Hedda coming out with the RE45 and then the P2020. Uh, not the greatest loadout right away, but we will... At least they have a weapon and armor. Uh, both players have armor right now. Uh, trying to see what Warlord has here for weapons. Um, picking up the... Uh, Havoc Rifle uh, has a slow charge time to start shooting, um, but once it starts shooting it does a decent amount of damage. The recoil on it is a little bit hard to control, so they might be looking to pick up something else as an alternative. Um, again, Hedda is just moving around the map. Um, still stuck with the P2020 and the RE45, not the greatest of weapons. Uh, choosing to pick up the L-Star, also not a great weapon, it's a light machine gun. Uh, it does a good amount of damage, but there is a, like a, uh, a bloom to the shots that makes it kind of hard to see while you're shooting. Uh, so a lot of players don't like it, even though the damage is decent on it. Uh, Hedda's moving into the treatment area here, caustic treatment. Uh, it looks like no one else dropped here, so they might have this whole place to themselves. Uh, there's a lot of good loot here. Um, Hedda may be looking to see if she can find uh, some loot early, or before Warlord does. Uh, looks like Warlord, maybe. There's a charge rifle there. Uh, in my opinion, probably one of the better sniper rifles. Uh, it's a kind of a go-to weapon for me. Um, there is no uh, bullet uh, like drop uh, in this game when you're firing your weapon. Uh, if you fire it at a long distance, the bullets go down. Uh, so the charge rifle is the only weapon in game that can shoot without having wep or bullet drop. Uh, so it can shoot a long range and does a good amount of damage. Hedda coming out here, uh, choosing to pick up the Spitfire, uh, definitely a better weapon than they had earlier. Uh, again, light machine gun, does a good amount of damage, uh, and shoots decently fast. <laughs> Easy to control the spray pattern on that weapon, uh, so definitely a good weapon to have uh, in this tournament. Uh, Warlord was able to find the purple armor, uh, definitely going to be better with Hedda has right now. Able to find the blue armor though, uh, so they're not too far off. Twenty-five more damage that Warlord can take right now. Uh, both players just still looking for loot. Uh, Warlord going with the alternator right now. Uh, definitely a decent weapon. Easy to control. Doesn't do too much damage though. Uh, so maybe be looking to pick up like an R301 or a R99 over that weapon. Uh, here they do find the R301 and they are going to pick up that over the alternator. Still have the Tavik rifle. Uh, maybe not an ideal weapon, but it's still good. A lot of people do not like it though. Alright. Head out. Uh, able to get gold armor there. I have not actually been in this part of the map before. Uh, this is an event. Uh, they just added this in game. Um, so apparently, when that opens up, there is gold loot inside of it. Uh, so Hedda is able to come out with gold armor from that. Definitely very good uh, to have. Hedda's <laughs> looking to play around a little bit here. 
As the players are moving into the ring here, uh, hopefully looking to find some action. Uh, maybe if they can find a, a team that's also kind of staring behind uh, the ring, then it's possible we see engagement here. Uh, probably going to be a little bit before we see anything um, really happening. Head is definitely moving on ahead here, just a little bit quicker. Um, could either get a pick before Warlord, or they could get picked before Warlord. Uh, so uh, moving on ahead like this, uh, when they have been playing together, uh, a little bit of a risky play, but it could come out handy. Uh, and they are also going to be getting better loot, because they are earlier uh, than Warlord. Still not hearing any shots on the map, uh, so it doesn't look like there are any squads in the area. Um, at least that we can hear so far. Uh, just trying to find out what weapons here. Warlord's still going with the R301 and the Havoc. Uh, and then I believe Hedda has the... I'm not sure what weapons they had. They had Spitfire last time I saw them and that was it. <laughs> Spitfire. Got the R301 as well. <laughs> Maybe they're hearing me on stream. Just let me know. <laughs> All right. All right. Both players kind of, again, following each other, uh, hugging the end, edge of the ring here. Uh, most likely they're safe from any engagements uh, right now. They might be seeing something sort of soon. Um, but I would still be on alert here. Uh, probably not going to be seeing anything from the south side map because they were just there. Uh, you might might see an engagement uh, at any time. Again, only six squads on the map remaining. Uh, 17 players in total. Uh, there is quite a bit of map left, um, so it might be a little while before we see an engagement, uh, especially with them on the edge of the ring here. Uh, typically players will look to get in the center of the ring, gain an advantage for later game. Uh, with with sitting on the edge of the ring, you're going to be forced to move in uh, after the ring closes. Um, so uh, the sooner you can get to a spot where you can sit for a little bit, uh, the you probably get a more of an advantage for that. Um, with the nature of this tournament though, you might just be wanting to survive as long as you can. Um, both players doing the same strategy here and sticking together though, so I'm not sure how useful that's going to be for them. Um, maybe just waiting to see. Looks like everyone uh, chose to drop on the opposite side of the map to them. <laughs> Nothing has been looted, uh, and they're just looting everything right now. Uh, Hedda looking like they might have seen something there, uh, choosing to go towards it, going very fast, uh, as Octane does. Uh, I'm going to see Warlord here kind of picking up. Warlord's been following Hedda this whole game. Uh, Hedda's definitely taking the lead here, looking to get that first pick possibly. Still not hearing ang- oh, and there is an engagement happening right now on the map uh, to the north of them. Uh, this is going to be right here. Uh, Hedda's looking to take first shots. Does get 75 damage put on them though, uh, so that's going to be something I want to heal. With that gold armor, gold armor though, they are heal able to heal up faster than they normally would. It looks like they don't have any shield cells though. Okay, they're choosing to use the shield battery over the shield cell. I don't know if I agree with that. Um, but they are. Oh, they're getting pushed very hard here. On. 
looks like Warlord's gonna be trying to sit here and maybe get a free pick. Um, trying to play this a little bit safer. Uh, head is kind of backed up here, trying to hide behind cover. Maybe he's gonna use that Octane jump pad to get in there and get a free... Kind of a spicy kill here. Let's see if we see anything though. Warlord trying to take shots. Uh, both players here not quite committing to any engagement. Peta here taking the get does get the knockdown. Uh, so that is going to be one kill if they can finish them off. Uh, Warlord was also able to get one. Uh, Hedda's going to need to be able to finish off this uh, Revenant if they're going to get that kill. There is another team coming in here. Uh, so both players... Warlord's going down. Uh, if Hedda can get a kill here, uh, we'll be tied up. And like, uh, they do not though. Um, it looks like Warlord. Warlord did win that round um, from kills. Warlord coming away with one. Uh, Hedda unable to get that kill. Uh, not able to finish off the one they knock. Um, so we are going to move on to another game here. Um, this will be the deciding game. Uh, whoever wins this next game will win the tournament. Um, so see if they go with the same strategy here. Uh, if both players choose to work together, or maybe they will split up. Uh, if both players are ready, though, we can continue on with this as soon as you're ready. It was unfortunate for Hedda. They were able to get a knockdown, um, but you do need to finish off the opponent in order to get the kill. Um, and because they were knocked down and wiped out before that kill happened, uh, Warlord was able to come out on top. Um, maybe look to uh, finish off those kills if you can. Uh, that might be something that Hedda's definitely thinking about right now. All right, again, whoever wins this match uh, is going to come out on top of the tournament as your winner. Uh, so we have Warlord or Hedda, uh, both very good players. Uh, definitely going to be a good game here. Both players going with their same legends. Uh, Hedda coming out with the Octane and Warlord with Horizon. Again, I'm interested to see if both players are going to choose to work together during this, or if they maybe want to switch up the strategy, uh, play solo. It looks like they might land a little bit closer uh, into the ring here, choosing to jump out. Uh, looks like they might be going for market, which is going to be a high, highly contested zone. Uh, so we might see a very quick engagement here, and the game could potentially be over very fast. Um, we will have to see here as soon as I can get in the king. Alright. Uh, Alright, Warlord able to come out with the alternator and the uh, Eva 8. Uh, both decent weapons to have at the start of this game. Uh, no armor though, uh, they're definitely going to want to find that as soon as they can. Uh, head on, uh, coming out with the R301, uh, they do have white armor already, uh, so it's going to be useful. Uh, haven't seen anyone in here yet, uh, I would expect to see maybe one squad. Uh, looks from the movement that there might be another squad inside that uh, building, uh, but potentially not. Hedda's gonna go over here, maybe a little bit safer spot to get loot. Um, or Warlord's gonna go back inside here. I do not know if there's anyone in here, but definitely has been picked. Uh, the loot has definitely been picked, uh, especially by Hedda. Um, but there are some good weapons uh, still around. Hedda's definitely been uh, leading the, the loot. Uh, 
finding. Uh, uh, seems to be getting first dibs on just about everything. Uh, Warlord's kind of lagging behind, uh, getting second pickings here. I was hoping to see an early engagement there uh, at the marketplace, but it looks like no one else dropped there. Uh, so we are going to be in this for a decent while. Uh, they are in a spot that was close to the center of the drop ships, so there might be an engagement coming eventually. We head here. Warlord's wanting to go back towards the marketplace. Uh, not sure if they're wanting to go inside or if they're just trying to get up top and maybe move in towards the ring here. Both players kind of trading loot here. Uh, looks like Hedda dropped two of the uh, med packs, uh, so those are able to heal the bottom part of your health uh, fully. Hedos maybe maybe looking to move on here. Kind of kind of bored of this place, already been looted. Uh, but choosing to wait for Warlord uh, before they decide to move anywhere. Trying to see what they can see. It does not look like anyone is in the area. Um, but choosing to play it safe. Warlord finding the R301. Uh, choosing to pick that up. As I said before, this weapon is a very, very strong pick. Very good at long range, pretty good at short range, uh, easy to control, uh, does quite a bit of damage, definitely a top pick weapon. Um, you'll see a lot of professional players will use the R301 and the flatline, uh, especially right now. Um, it's kind of a meta weapon, as you call it. <laughs> Both players have an engagement here, just trying to chat here, uh, trying to decide where they're going to go. <laughs> All right, just deciding it's time to move in towards that ring. Uh, haven't haven't seen any action. Maybe looking looking to shoot some things. Had a stealing that gold helmet right 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 from under Warlord's fingers. Not really going to be doing them that much use. The gold helmet allows you to. Uh, it sh it shortens the time between the charges of your abilities. Um, Octane being probably. The fastest to regain. Okay. <laughs> Hedos maybe maybe wanting some engagements to happen here, trying try, finding some shots, trying to get some action. Uh. <laughs> Bo both players maybe having fun. I don't know if they they know each other and they're having a good time here, but okay, they okay they're about to see engagement here. Uh, Hedda is tuning back out pretty fast. Uh, Warlord is looking pretty weak here to see if they can get around this corner to heal up. Uh, both players trying to get healed. Uh, uh, looks like Warlord might be being pushed here. They are still weak. Uh, still trying to maybe get to a spot where they can heal up. They are still getting pushed here. Uh, this could be the end of the game here very soon. One thing to know is that when you are healing, uh, the enemy teams can hear you heal. Uh, so that sound you're hearing in-game right now can be heard by the enemy. Um, and they're... Looks like the enemy has chose not to engage there. I'm not really sure why. Uh, they did break uh, Warlord's shield and knew that Hedda only had a blue shield. So maybe they're a little bit weak on their loot as well. Hedda again, uh, looks like they're just firing shots trying to get some some engagement started. Maybe try to get someone to push them. Uh, as I said before, uh, in Apex when you hear those shots fired, uh, typically you'll see players rotate in uh, towards those shots uh, to try to get a third party. Uh, so maybe, maybe trying to bait out some people uh, into coming towards them uh, by firing those shots. Or they're just, you know, 
messing around. It looks like there is someone jumping in here uh, and going to be firing shots at them with the Sentinel, I believe that was. Uh, so it's a sniper rifle. You're definitely not going to want to be hit by that. Um, there are two people on the high ground there. Uh, Warlord kind of in an unfortunate position here. Pathfinder throwing out his ultimate. Going to be pushing Hedda here. Um, potentially. Hedda could... All right, Hedda's getting shot out now. Uh, taking about 25 damage there. Uh, being pressured here. Trying to take things back towards Warlord. Maybe... Maybe... Getting some shots fired at Warlord, maybe trying to get the win that way. Uh, Hedda's choosing to run away. Warlord getting fired at again. Uh, throwing down the heat shield. It doesn't really do anything. We're not in, in the circle right now. That is not a shield to hide in. Warlord, very, oh, Warlord getting knocked. Looks like Hedda is going to be the champion of this tournament. Uh, coming out with the W. Uh, congratulations, Hedda, and GG's to Warlord. Uh, coming in second place, very strong showing. Hedda, though, coming out as the champion. Alright, that is going to be it for the tournament. Uh, again, Hedda, congratulations on winning. Um... Uh. All right, thank you all for showing up. Uh, again, Hedda, congratulations on your win. Um, this is going to be it for the tournament. Um, again, uh, a little self-promotion. My name is Hamrum. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, Hamrum Gaming, on Twitch at ham underscore rum. Uh, I don't really stream that often, but those are where you can find me. Uh, I play a little bit of Apex. I am a Splatoon 2 player. I play those competitively. Uh, if you want to follow our socials at Bravos or Bravos Esports, uh, go check us out there. Um, and for the players, if you go look in announcements, we should be posting some information there as well. Uh, thank you all for coming by, uh, and have a good night.